Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back with us in Apps Master Builder and I'm Katina Abdul Ghani, your mobile app trainer and I'm going to show you our next tutorial whereby uh, you will be able to build a directory app. Okay, in, in, in general, let me share what is a directory app here, meaning that you can build a uh, few different type of apps using uh, the directory uh, pages that we have which I will explain shortly but uh, in a nutshell basically you can build an app whereby user will be able to see a directory meaning location of place or whatever it is and user are not able to actually insert anything they just view and you will also be able to build an app whereby user will be able to put certain information and other users will be able to browse and see and go to the location or a directory album yeah i will go into detail shortly but at least you have a broad picture so we are on a 14 days challenge okay we are on the third apps uh, development which is a directory app and I'm so sorry that this app is going to be launched today, supposed to be yesterday because I had some issues with my broadband internet but we are going to stick on the 14 days by hook by crook by 14 days we'll have 14 apps development, proposal app development for you to develop apps. Basically why we are doing this because we want to show our users and help our own users currently uh, that they could build apps okay and there are multi different type of apps can be built because we have more than 130 feature pages yes uh, but some of our users maybe they need that idea so that when we give them some tips then it will trigger them uh, to actually build something else or they have generate new ideas and so on so our responsibility is to help you okay so that's why we are going in and show you and most importantly ladies and gentlemen we would like to invite all of you to come and use our system which is the amb create mobile app without coding cms toolkit and get an app built without any programming languages are required all right some of you may see all right may see uh, building apps without coding is low quality app ladies and gentlemen that's not a correct statement all right uh, let me share about website because mobile apps may be something that is new for you all right website years ago ladies and gentlemen can a non-programmer build website no only programmers can build a website but now ladies and gentlemen website can be built nearly by everyone because of what because of the beauty of wordpress and if you look at the uh, website now wow they can build so customized website with the plugins and so on all right and nobody realized that it's a non-programmer building the website all right and in uh, app scenario uh, you have choices building apps which is currently majority are using softwares and to use the software you need to be a programmer and it's not easy to learn ladies and gentlemen all right and then you have app builder all right uh, such as mine okay this is my own system all right i bought the software from uh, french programmers and i've Develop it from just 10 layout and 30 feet, uh, 20 feature pages. Now we have more than 80 layout, we have more than 130 features. To be exact, we have about 136 features. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, for an app builder, non coding, at this point of time, there's no free app builder. Yes, because we have cost involved and so on. All right, they are, you might say, they are free servers that allow user to use it as a test but our amb toolkit ladies and gentlemen is not just trying out okay we give you everything such as this video all right we help you to build apps and we give you support via telegram for our online members uh, workshop members we give support via whatsapp we have facebook support and we have hundreds of video short video but this video will be a bit longer because i'm going to show a to z all right uh, in our uh, AMB 
SME Academy. We have so many things. We have so we have more than hundred videos. So basically, you are going into a system that is ready for you to start building app. Such as if you are thinking of building a directory app, I'm going to show you the way now. So please bear with me, and I hope. Um, while I'm explaining uh, how to build apps and then coding, some of you, or better still, all of you will come and join me. And I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, I will help you to create your ultimate apps. All right. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go in now. Okay. Let me do a bit explanation. Okay. All right, types of apps that can be developed. All right, basically we can do a directory, we can do a direction, and we can also do a, an album. All right, a directory album. So let's check out first type of apps that we can develop. Uh, we can do clinics, hospitals, all right, locations, so that user uh, they want to find uh, where's the nearest clinic or somebody who travel overseas they are not familiar with clinics, hospitals in that country. So for us in that country we might say why wow, like not many hospital everybody can do but then for a person who just come to our country or we visiting another country we might want to get all this information handy to help us go around so old folks home all right uh, there's something that can be developed restaurants Okay, uh, it can be one type of restaurant or it can be different type of restaurant in an app. Example, we can do a nasi kanda restaurant or we can do a multiple type of restaurant, meaning nasi kanda, uh, Malay food, Chinese food, Western food, banana leaf food, and so on and so on. Okay, we could do a spa, location of spa, we could do a saloon. Okay, petrol station. We had somebody who built an app, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, basically, this is for motorbike. Uh, we don't ride motorbike, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but those people who ride motorbike, actually, it's not easy to find uh, mechanics to actually repair the motorbikes and also to find accessories. And it seems that if you travel uh, outskirts, meaning you go to different state, you go and so on. If, say, your motorbike, something happen okay it's not easy to find a technician and so on so somebody did that app so that it will help the uh, apa, motor the powered high big motorbike that one all right farmers location and type of produce okay we realize with this pandemic going around all right now farmers are not able to channel their produce outside okay direct to the markets and so on the pasar tani and so on are actually closed down but here if we have an app that shows this uh, people can actually buy direct and help them to actually continue selling via online all right company branches okay you can develop an app those number one to seven and many more different app you can build an app basically that's the function of the app here company branches meaning that you build an app for your company with actually your 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 business are different you might be a bakery you might be uh, uh, restaurant owners and so on and so on but you want to use the directory as one part of your apps development all right and many 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 more things that can be developed ladies and gentlemen okay type of pages related to directory meaning that you want to build a directory app first and foremost okay for directory we have a page called place okay meaning that here is like you are a company you want to list all your branches in the country different states and so on so you insert the information as a developer user can only see meaning that user see user click from whatever location they are they are able to find your place all right and they also know how many branches that you have there is a business or oh, you do an ngo app we had somebody who had a request to build apps for a client uh, this is uh, for a group of church. It seems that I'm not. I'm a Muslim, so I'm not so familiar with it. But what I understand is that church they have like some association, and they are different type of church. So this 
N_G_O wanted to build an app so that their followers would be able to whenever they travel around the country they want to visit that group of church they can they are able to see so at the end of the day so many things that can be done but in order to do that you don't want to allow your user to insert the information you want to have control because you don't want people to abuse the app you put in the information as a developer and then your user will be able to use it okay nearby places is different now what happened is that your user will be able to actually insert the information and your other users are able to view the map click and go to the location or get to know the distance and so on and so on all this when we have map ladies and gentlemen it will directly prompt so that user they give users an option they will pick up what type of maps and so on that they have inside their app to show the direction okay some people have ways some people have google maps some people have other things the app will actually pick up all right for me i like to use ways for you maybe majority love to use uh, google map is up to you we do not need to worry about that the app will pick up whatever apps location direction that the user have okay again nearby places is user put in information other users are able to actually uh, open the map and then see all the location there, there will be that location uh, image all right so we have the next one is nearby places pro okay nearby places pro is an advanced version of nearby places whereby now this is a f album it's like a directory all right it's like yellow pages but a lot of people do not know yellow pages and yellow pages years ago we use it just to get phone number but here it's like a yellow pages it's like a directory it could be as huge as a yellow pages but in an app form but it's not only phone number okay you have the map you have the name of the company you have you can put images and those images actually people who users who actually insert the data can actually make changes all right they can update they can amend of whatever information they put in and you can have uh, managers you can have the sales phone numbers and so many things so nearby places pro is basically a directory album ladies and gentlemen all right so we have these three type of uh, uh, pages and to insert remember i mentioned to you user will insert the data how do our users go about doing it we have to use a specific page called awesome form yes we have five different type of form in our app builder ladies and gentlemen why we need so many because uh, certain form has direct function like this okay uh, for to use nearby places and nearby places pro it must be awesome form you cannot use the profile form you cannot use the other type of form because why you need different different type first and foremost for the specific usage and some of you may just who want to just use it a form as to collect data but the generating of the data uh, they have different different type of like pie chart this and so on so it's up to you you can explore that but now today we are showing directory uh, apps all right so okay all right what i'm trying to share here now okay you are you are building the app all right uh, now why do you want to do a directory app because you will open to a lot of users to actually participate in your app and what will make your app more powerful is collecting of data yes you want to keep this user data because at the end of the day all this user data are actually money okay you have can you imagine you have 10 username grow up to 1000 grow up to millions those are very powerful data that you have but please do remember ladies and gentlemen you cannot just simply misuse all those data because uh, we are they are protected under the international ruling but then again whatsapp was bought by facebook for what for the user data so if your app develop you have multi-million users around the world you might just want to sell it meaning that you don't sell the user data on its own ladies and gentlemen you sell the app as a whole that is according ruling okay rules and records because why people are giving you that data because they want to participate in your directory app so you cannot simply sell that all to these people or cannot okay so uh, we are not talking about terms and conditions and so on those are 
things that uh, we shall do a video in future to explain more about that all right so so how do you collect data we can use padlock all right we can use padlock pro and we can use sublock okay let me just go back where is a padlock okay padlock is you just want to collect data so a user open the app they put in the details then it will directly go to all the menu inside the page so they do not need to lock in their information again unless they lock up in the my account because they will see a my account meaning that information of themselves and they can change their image or whatever it is inside there all right so padlock is very powerful if i do a directory of restaurant i will just use padlock i pick up the information of my users and then they can just use the app freely no need to log in anymore okay padlock pro is different padlock pro meaning that user open the app they can see everything now okay but then now i want them to go into certain specific pages okay like for example my training members okay i want them to go into certain strategic pages using my katina abdugani app so i use padlock pro i don't use padlock so i encourage them to register and then i will approve them to certain places there will be people who actually register but they are none uh, workshop members and i just put them to another feature pages which is a marketing feature pages so these are the thing but you have to do it manually okay the downside there you have to actually approve it manually padlock pro is approved automatically and we have sublock or another word is pay in app and this one is that it's automatic many that you allow your users to go into that page and by via of making a payment they don't pay they cannot go they pay they go all right so it's very easy there's no manual uh, uh, interaction inside there no interruption lah many meaning that uh, you have to do it manually all right so but then again which one is which it depends on what type of apps that you are develop for me i'm doing training so for me to actually approve them for those people who actually make payment is quite easy the moment they register they actually make payment i can just go in and approve it so so if you don't want to do that you just want to collect data you want it to be automated you just use padlock you want to make payment then you see the pages you just use the sublock and then we have this authorization okay authorization meaning that i can send information to my users who actually have gone in okay and give them certain passcode so that when they have the passcode they are able to actually see certain pages or they can actually view the whole app meaning that download now cannot go in until they have the uh, passcode then they can go in and in the authorization also we have if you have content that more than 18 can see all right you can actually ask them to verify their age so this will actually uh, cover certain google and apple terms and condition for certain types of apps so these are four things that you can actually use to pick up data because all this will have and you can export out all this data and insert to your opt-ins or you can use it for whatever purpose you would like and if you have a web hook you can actually automatically pick up from the app into the say opt in i have an aweber opt in i can automatically go into aweber opt in via a web hook so that is something that will be done automatically and that is very powerful also all right oops let's now go in into the app development so that i'm going to show you how very easy that you are able to build app fast using our development tool all right and most importantly here ladies and gentlemen i would like to stress this you are not depending to somebody else you are putting your app inside your hand all right and if you are joining our online program you have to spend time listening to the videos that i have prepared uh, i've been teaching since 2013 and i think all those video would be very helpful i had to actually tweak a bit Uh, some of the videos to actually help people who never attend our workshop to actually start building apps because before our videos are meant for our workshop members and also for our workshop members all right uh, all these videos will help you to continue get more ideas and so on so ladies and gentlemen most importantly no coding all right uh, i cannot stress 
how wonderful it is okay for non programmers uh, they have a tool that they are able to use to their advantage and i started by being a non programmers ladies and gentlemen i'm not interested to learn coding it just take at my age okay it's so difficult when i start building apps what since 2013 i'm already what during that time 42 43 all right it's so difficult to learn something new learning programming is like learning a new languages it's not easy at this age but it's easy when you are at younger age i have published more than 500 apps ladies and gentlemen and i've gone into learning some basic coding like html css and and i have not gone into php but i have gone into java and so on i've gone into uh, years ago was eclipse okay java eclipse for androids and i've learned s code and so on and day to day i never use those okay to publish apps but as a trainer I need to know and I can say confidently ladies and gentlemen upon you knowing our system you wouldn't want to go into that era anymore but then again I do notice some of our members that would like to fine tune they are people who actually they will go into find they are people like that for me I go multiple apps and generate income by multiple apps I go for the masses but there are people who you just want to build very uh, small number of app but they spend a lot of times on that and that is also another strategy that you can use and they would like to improve more as they get some feedback from their users their friends their colleagues from their bosses and so on and all the layout can be changed by a uh, css Uh, and also we have a page called source code which you can put the basic one everybody will be able to learn html so you can put something new or for those programmer if you know php you know uh, java you would be able to use our source code but you need to iframe it and then put inside there so ladies and gentlemen uh, our system my target of sharing are actually to get more non coders to actually be at because we always have great idea but we are not able to move forward because the cost to build is expensive why is it expensive simply because there's not many programmers out there that can build apps all right and for programmers i do notice there are a lot of programmers also who who open up their heart and really would like to see what i have and they then feel it awesome to actually build apps using the system for the simple simple apps that doesn't require too high of a customization like for example e hailing app e commerce app like now i'm doing directory and so on uh, they are some of your customers or yourself you want to build it and you will see how easy it is being done and if you want to try out ladies and gentlemen we have 10 days refund back money back guarantee so it's like a trial period for all of you uh upon the 10 days just send us an email saying you want to re- get refunded i will give you a form fill up the form no question asked ladies and gentlemen i will refund 100% but then again when i refund i will actually deactivate the account and 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 stop your access to amb academy because we only want to give it to our paid users but then again ladies and gentlemen If you have problem and so on, we have lifetime support via our uh, Telegram and for online members and WhatsApp for our workshop members and we have Facebook. Most likely, any problem that you have will help you to solve. All right, so let's continue. Uh, sorry, I just put a little bit marketing there. So come on, let's now focus building app. So I'm going to go here, create a new application. All right, so let's do um, Nasi Kanda Restaurant. Okay, this is a very specific app for one type of app, uh, but it could be a uh, multiple restaurant, including the uh, Western food, including the Malay food, Chinese food, uh, banana leaf food, or a food food vegetarian restaurants and so on. All right, if you do an app. There is advantage of doing very specific app. There is advantage of putting in multiple things. All right, so we are inside the app. We have templates, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody knows. Okay, although I market my apps builder as just choose a template and build very fast, it's going to be very fast 
using the template okay please refer our video on this but I'm teaching you how to create app I don't like to use template because for me template is not like creating something new all right uh, everybody will have their own liking and preference and and things that they actually put in so that makes an app from one app to one app different although you are using an app builder okay like ours okay so i don't like templates all right but templates is there to help you build app fast you can refer to my video on that okay so first and foremost let's change our layout and again ladies and gentlemen if i were to build my own app layout is something that i will do the last all right i will actually focus on creating the pages first but then let's just go step by step so we have more than 80 feature pages i started with only 10 sorry we, we have more than 80 layouts uh, we started with only 10 layouts okay we keep on updating this okay what type of layout i'm going to build all right i want to use a different type of layout because I don't want people to say you say there's a lot of layout but you keep on using the same one okay let me say let me say i like uh, a layout that can see a lot of images i don't like this kind of layout okay uh, for me personally even this ladies and gentlemen you can actually whatsapp directly there's certain countries okay so let me try and use this okay Ladies and gentlemen, as we build the app, I'm not worried so much about the layout, okay? Because I can just change it immediately. So please don't bog down on layout. There are people who go into layout, they oh you cannot, they cannot select already what type of layout that they want to build. Don't worry, we can just change it later on. Okay, so we have put in the layout. Next, we need to put in the home page. Okay, so let me click. I have already prepared the image. The size, everything is there already, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's go up. All right, should have a home page here. Okay, if you join us, ladies and gentlemen, we will actually show you where to pick up all these images. All right, that is free to use for commercial usage. Okay, building app is for commercial. Okay, this thing still come out. We just take it out. When we start selecting one of the feature pages, the template will not come up anymore. All right, so we have put in the uh, home page. Let me just click here, see changes so that we can see in this emulator. You could also, ladies and gentlemen, for those who have not done, uh, please refer the manuals. You can actually download the previewer and you can also view using your smartphone. Alright, that's great. Okay, so we have that. And ladies and gentlemen, there's a guide here. Safe in portrait, safe in landscape. If you have certain specific images and so on, it must be this box is basically the smallest smartphone. Then as you use iPad, tablet and they will see more. Because it's for us to... Uh, cater for all different type of size of smartphone or we call it mobile device like it could be a smartphone it could be a tablet it could be an ipad ipad mini ipad and so on and so on and things will continue and uh, develop in future so we cover everything all right so we have put in okay and there's layout option here ladies and gentlemen please refer to my video on layout okay oh, uh, I'm doing this video to help our users who are already have access to our AMB Academy, all right, and also to help them actually first and foremost to actually have ideas to build apps. So there are certain things I will say refer the Academy, refer Academy because there are many videos there. We have more than 100 videos. It's all in short. Okay, this video is a bit long because I'm going to show you to build apps from A to Z, one specific app. But all our video in the AMB Academy, you see, there's design, there's colors, features. I could just go short, design, colors, features, and go into details, all right? But it's short videos, okay? To help our online users to actually do at from home. But for this 14 days challenge, we are going to, it's a bit longer, so please bear with me. All right, if you are interested to build app with us, you have to listen. Lah. But most importantly, I want to give you an idea uh, what type of apps to build it could promote it could 
give you inspiration to create different type of apps and also to show proof concept that you are able to build something than coding within just one hour you're gonna finish this okay so let's us proceed we are not going to make changes on all these colors at this point of time because that should come in last before we actually generate the apk so let's go into features i will come back to colors also for you programmers please bear with me i will show you where the css for you to make amendments and so on all right so let me sort out uh programmers that are listening to me now uh, we have a page called source code Alright, this. So this is a page whereby you can put HTML coding. Uh, if you know Java and you know uh, PHP, you can iframe it and put it in inside here. So that is meant for you programmers. For all of our users who are non-programmers, you see so many, all these pages. Alright, then we have in the modules all these features, about 130 features we have to be exact. 136 are for non-programmers or programmers who don't want to use coding okay it's yours to build app without coding all right so now let's start this okay i'm going to do an information about the app so we can use this which is called custom page okay let's click all right what time is it now okay this is 8 36 let's hope we can do this within 30 minutes all right i'm actually showing and training so it takes me a bit more time but if you focus you know how to build app a directory album within less than one hour is ready for publishing all right so we are in the custom page so now let me change the name of the page name so i'm going to put here info and please do remember ladies and gentlemen we do not need to click save here it will automatically save no need save is for the inside the changes that we customize inside here for custom page there are many features here to know about all these features please refer to video specific on custom page i'm going to put in a cover and put some images just to give you some ideas all right so that's cover i'm going to add cover and let me find all right it's here items all right what size of this uh, our recommendation is 480 times 320 so when we save this you will be able to see here and you will be able to see there's also a source code here uh, and that has been updated by the programmer and you can also iframe it in a moment you can iframe it you can put it more things beside just html okay so you see this is the image coming in no coding ladies and gentlemen so i'm going to put in some text but i'm not going to put in like creation of a composition of information here i'm just going to just show concept so i'm going to put here app background and info Okay, this is exactly like word document ladies and gentlemen all right and you can put in you can even bold it and so on and so on all right okay so we have that and when i click save here we can put here Alright, here if you look here, there's also address here, but the address is in a custom page, but we are doing directory, so I'm not going to dwell on this address inside this custom page, okay, because that is just address of say, I have a location of my training center here, they go to one, but directory is a lot of address and location. Okay, so next, I'm going to actually now create a directory of the restaurants, so I'm going to choose an awesome form okay to actually create the question that our users are able to fill up uh, we are not going to dwell on the places because places you as an entrepreneur you as the owner of the app will actually put in okay that's fairly easy to do but 
I'm going to do the complicated one. If the complicated one can do, that means the easy one much more easier. Okay, now we see in our pages, I have actually created two pages. One is the info page and second is the awesome page. But I can't see here. Okay, if that happens, you just refresh because that is due to internet. If our internet line is very fast, it's going to be there. All right. Uh, in my place here, we have a lot of issues with one of the telco company, and that's the only option that I have because I like it to be fixed cable. So from time to time, it's like this. But then again, if you are in front of a laptop, ladies and gentlemen, these are the things that we have to bear. All right, so let's see it opening. Alright, this is just taking a little bit too long, so I'm going to actually refresh this again. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we can see now we have info and the awesome form here. So I'm going to now put in information in the awesome form. So I'm going to click on awesome form. Okay, so we are going to in, go in, then you see page setting is where we actually put in the information. Okay, there's a page name here, so I'm going to put here registration. Because I'm going to just put, basically it's just one type of app, so I'm not going to put registration for what. If say I do multiple uh, maps or multiple directory album here, then it would be registration of Nasikanda, registration of western food and so on and so on so here let me just put registration of Nasikanda you should see the feature name save is coming up restaurants right I'm going to copy this and I'm going to click here add session put that in and I click OK alright so now we can add the field ok for nearby place we can only put 4 field if you put more than 4 field user can only see 4 field so there's no point of going further than that for the nearby places pro we can put more fields and user will be able when we do the setup for the nearby places pro there are additional things there but uh, it will still not be more than four when we do the settings inside nearby places pro but when a user sees and open the directory album they will see more things as per you set it in the awesome form yeah don't worry about that okay all right so i'm going to put here name of restaurant or just put restaurant name because we are very specific short and sharp is better all right then this field is required and click ok because we don't want them to not put in the information sometimes ladies and gentlemen while using this okay we give you support the best is just to test out that's what I do when I first started building apps. Okay, I just play around with it. Okay, uh, secondly, what do we want to put in? Okay, uh, your specials. Oh, we put here restaurant specialty. So they have to put in a bit more. Alright, so we give them. This is longer text, this is a shorter text. So we can put that so that they can put in more details okay so next is of course we want the location ladies and gentlemen 
alright look for the location we have actually two option one is geo location and one is address okay what is the different okay geo location is that okay I have a training center my training center in Desa Melawati in order to actually fill up that information if we use geo location I must be exactly where the location is because it will pick up the location okay but if say somewhere I'm in actually in Kedah I will not be able to insert those information because it will actually pick up information I'm in Kedah but I want to put my Desa Melawati location or your users want to put like for example we are doing Nasi Kandar restaurant your user are somewhere in uh, KLCC and suddenly they remember wow oh, this one Nasi Kandar restaurant in Penang so good as they were talking with somebody else and they suddenly remember oh I want to put that inside this app this very powerful Nasi Kandar everybody must know so if you use geolocation they can't they have to go into the location in Penang and insert but if now they are in KLCC, they are able to insert it, although it's very far from them. So, I prefer use address and I'm going to put here and I'm going to put here location or your address. Alright, so that they know that they are going to pick up the address. Okay, next, of course, we want to enable our users to actually give us images. Alright. We can put restaurant images as the field name or we just put images and we leave it to them to put in whether they want to put in the images or you want to put in the their delicious food okay images okay i have not choose so it prompt up for a reminder so images is that and we click ok all right so our form is ready so this is for nearby places uh, nearby places and it will we only need to put four if you are doing the directory album then we can add on more fields all right so i would like images to go up then you can go up if you want the location to go up so this is something handy you can actually change so let me just put it there so everything is ready and now you can see there's an email here so you must put in the email because if you don't put the email this form is not ready okay so i'm ready there everything is ready now i go down and find the nearby places this is according to alphabet we can find here or we just click here search nearby so this is nearby place map directory this is nearby places pro this is the album directory so let's go and use this first okay great we are in already so let's allow the app to open i'm not clicking on this uh, ladies and gentlemen it's open automatically okay current location not found because we are opening this via an app eh sorry via a laptop there's no gps in my laptop so that's why it's asking that question if a user open it later on using their smartphone there's no issues so nearby places now i'm going to put in location or i can put find your restaurant okay your location and so on so i'm just going to put location and there we have we can put multiple uh, uh, forms okay and we can have multiple nearby places okay i'm going to restaurant name restaurant specialty images location done ladies and gentlemen Ha, you have your directory app already but you cannot just do this we cannot only have three menu ladies and gentlemen to build an app we are showing you to build an app feed for publishing we have to put in few other things all right but it's ready already okay okay uh, you cannot test it out here ladies and gentlemen because remember it needs the gps and so on so you need to test it using a previewer or the best for me when I build my apps, uh, I would like to get it accurate, okay? Uh, because sometimes uh, we did not update the previewer to the latest, so we just generate the APK and whatever we have in the system will be able to pick up, and that is exact replica 
of what we're going to publish okay it's that is the best okay but previewer is also great okay so let me now show you the difference between nearby place and also nearby places pro and which is which to use your app okay uh, currently for my purpose of nasi kanda restaurant location nearby places is good enough but we do have users who is creating list of consultant for construction companies and they put in list of architects list of uh, mechanical engineers civil structure quantity surveyor qs uh, ids interior designers uh, list of contractors with all the type of contractors the class c class f and so on and so on so that requires a directory album because you have to put in more things you don't want to see just location so that is the purpose of us having nearby places pro so it's the same okay so here all right okay all right this okay let me just change this to for example if i do consultants All right, so let me just. All right, so there's the restaurant names, there's the restaurant specialty, there's image, there's address. All right, and remember, if you use nearby places pro, you can put in more fields. But inside here, when you do the setting, you can only see four settings. Okay, however, whatever fields you put in. In the album you can see yeah but why we need to do the setting is simply because of this okay for the album because people are doing is remember ladies and gentlemen for those who knows about yellow pages imagine yellow pages it can be very thin like each state it can be very huge like the whole of the country okay so how do people wants to search the information so we need to sort that out so that's why in the directory album we have that so sort i want to sort by location all right so that now it will be by your states all right that will be my actually so it will go via kedah terengganu and so on and so on okay then after that inside when they sort they go then how are those information being arranged inside the directory album so it could be based on restaurant name and this is going to be alphabet like this and that it will pick up alphabet or it will be based on their specialty and so on or you have different type of scenarios fields and so on you can it will pick up here all right uh, the only thing it is not able to pick up currently is numbers because uh, at one point of time we have requests from property they want so people can actually pick up from the numbers all right but we already have a property app so i was like a little bit delayed to ask the programmer to customize that but the programmer knows that i want this to be also able to be searched by numbers okay so that is in the upgrading so ladies and gentlemen whatever you see here based on the response of our user we will continue to upgrade and update to follow current trends so my app builder here is basically not final okay some people will say not final katina then that's not good i want to use it when it's final then you can never join us ladies and gentlemen because it will never be final why it never be final because i keep on adding things uh, to follow current trends okay but if you're thinking of final that you can use it it's ready you can use it but we keep on improving and updating to follow current trends and based on feedback that we receive from our users all right so let's continue all right but okay now you understand the difference between nearby places and nearby places pro nearby places pro is very powerful ladies and gentlemen but i'm not going to use this for just a nasi kanda restaurant location all right but there might be other people who feel that that's better but remember one of the point of building app it has to be simple all right people want to just want to know where is the location they do not need actual list of address they do not need actual list of who are the restaurant managers or whatever it is they just want to go find the 
best restaurant and they want to eat the nicest food all right so please bear in mind sometimes when people develop app they want to give too much app must be simple ladies and gentlemen all right so basically the directory app information is complete but for apps to be published this is not complete all right so what do we want to put next let's put in a review all right so our users can give us review okay what is the difference we have two review 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 pro review the first one is uh, basically people can share the reviews and it will appear in the play store or app store review pro uh, people can sh uh, can actually share review inside the app itself all right so that's done okay then let's do share okay uh, so we have share we have two type of share the first share is that our users just share with their friends and colleagues and so on okay viral is to viral so meaning that we encourage them not to share only one person we say we share five percent and then we give them loyalty points but for nasi kanda mm, we want to give loyalty point also can uh, but then we need to work together with all the nasi kanda restaurant to actually honor this point and that will be a lot of work i don't like that okay but for me the viral share is very good if you actually own the business okay and you want people to viral your app and you can reward using the loyalty points and so on or you have product exact product that you have more control in selling all right so that's viral share so let's choose just normal share okay so ladies and gentlemen any coding required no our apps are nearly complete already I have another 5 more minutes to finish this off if I want to meet the 30 minutes but ladies and gentlemen because I'm talking that's why sharing and talking training that's why it takes a bit long if you do it on your own you can do it much more faster okay here these are information you put in so that you can tease your user no please share <laughs> are you begging your user no please share with your friends if you find my apps are suitable there will be people who are so that one you must design and put in the words it can be in english it can be in any languages it can be arabic it can be malay it can be chinese characters and so on it's up to you all right okay i think that should be great now let's put in push notification and please do remember we have registration all right we have review these two page will actually pick up uh, the users details all right remember users details is powerful so because of that i need to put in the privacy policy okay push notification ladies and gentlemen there's no setup need to be done okay uh, we can only send push notification upon our app approve in the play store and also app store so i'm going to put in the privacy policy okay this is by law we already say nope we are going to take care of your user id nope we are not going to sell your user id necessarily all those things this is required by law you do not need to design the privacy policy is already ready made for all of you all right ready made for all of you all right what based on my experience of training people in class we do have people who build app for financial institution like uh, trust funds uh, like uh, insurance they have certain things that they need to add on so it's your choice but for majority of us when we do simple apps like this or even a difficult app like this uh, it's all everybody will have their own perception of difficult or easy and so on for me this is easy you need to put the normal privacy policy so our app is ready ladies and gentlemen yeah the only thing that we have not changed is the tab icon which in the next video okay i will show you how to change that okay for now i'm not changing all right for our current users who are already in the system please go into tap icon i share with you how to change the tap icon we have two ways of changing it i also share with you where to pick up tap icon that commercially can be used all right remember we are publishing we need to respect 
the copyright and trademark so please use the resources that I have shown you so that uh, you will not have any uh, problem with the law regulations and so on all right so next is application so basically your app structure is up your app content is up your app is ready for publishing ladies and gentlemen so our application name just now i put nasi kanda restaurant i can change it here okay nasi kanda top restaurant and whatever you put here application name is actually the div, the 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 this one is actually when a user download your app this is your device name all right your app device name it will appear here but here we cannot see the full one but this is too long okay this is too long uh, my recommendation is not more than 23 characters please refer to video on this okay uh, so if we follow my then I will be actually put things like this okay right so that's not more than 23 yes okay so let's now put in the icon I think I've prepared this 256 please refer to our manuals for the images where to pick up images that is commercially can be used without you paying any extra things all right and this is the back button and all this back button also can be custom made by your css all right but this is just for back button for our pages is in colors i will show you shortly for our programmers friend okay now this is for push notification there's no need to put in the one two eight we just put in the five one two for push notification there's an item called save here other images we put in there's no need to save so please you must have a lookout so now we are going to put in the start up image or another word is a splash screen meaning these are images that will come out just for a short time when the user comes into your app so i'm going to just choose the same home page image all right because I don't want to waste time but if I were to build this app an actual app that I will go a little bit more detail I like to change a different type of home page image yeah. but I'm just showing to all of you so on the step by step so I'm not doing that so I don't want to waste time and then finally we go to publication but before we go publication let's go to colors because our app is ready basically ladies and gentlemen so you see that icon image come out sometimes it come out a little bit late don't worry about it okay because if your line is slow there might be you have to put it twice and so on but majority should be okay all right so here if you see this layout is not suitable because i don't have another this not good enough i purposely selected that because i want to show you you can change but i want to show here in colors on home page so this is home page and you see this is white in color so if you want to change it a different color say i want to change it to red I go here and you see that's red all right if i want to make sure that it is the same color of how to go about doing it ladies and gentlemen how do i go about doing it yes you can open this into a custom page you can actually pick up what is this color and then we can actually put in the code here and it will be exactly the same all right those we share in the design hacking on how to go about doing it but the best is to open via chrome i'm opening via mozilla so i'm not able to pick up but that's not the purpose of this video please refer to the design hacking all right border there are some that have border some don't have border okay how do we know we just have to test out okay let me just put it there no there's no border so if there's border so not all layout has border okay the text is this 
okay so i want to change it to white and you see that's white okay image is those tab icon image so this layout doesn't have the image so we can also change those image i'm going to change uh, a different type icon that will actually requires to have image there so i'm going to put also white so how do we change the layout so that's why i like to do layout the last because whatever layout we select ladies and gentlemen before we generate the APK for publishing, definitely most of us will want to change it. Okay. And I have a bit weaknesses. I am a person who like to do a bit perfection, very particular about all those things. So I like to do those last or not. It's like you're writing a book or you are trying to create like for example, when I was working years ago with a boss, I have an employer, from time to time I have to do speech for the boss. Okay, so we just write. We don't edit first. Okay, then after that we go in. So building apps is like creating something, you are actually doing your book or whatever it is. You just want to put in all your ideas. We go features, we just create. Some of the features pages, maybe we will be deleting it. It's okay. Just put in, ladies and gentlemen. Then after that, we review back. We review using this or the best. Generate the APK and we see. It will sync automatically. Okay? We get some opinions and so on. But to build a, a directory app, no need to be that difficult. Okay, so now I'm going to change the layout. Because this layout is not suitable for me. We already hit the 30 minutes inside the app for publishing but as you see because I'm explaining if you are doing on your own it will not take this long so I'm going to use this all right so I'm changing that all right so you see here we can also put in a home page slider a uh, slider will actually come up up here all right how to go about doing that please refer to our layout tutorial i have shown you there and look okay just now we put the image cannot be seen just now but here image can be seen but ladies and gentlemen building app we must change all these images all right uh, please refer our next video or for our users the best is please refer on the tab icon uh, changes okay when a user click then they will be able to see a lot of other things okay all right so it's ready now we go to publication this is basically a very simple one ladies and gentlemen okay okay put in more things it's up to you but i don't want to waste more time i just want to show you directory app is ready without any coding so this is bundle id package name how to go about making changes we have some guideline please refer to that video okay this is app map so that you can monetize your app via advertisement okay to open and also to actually generate the id please refer to the specific video and your application is ready to be published okay ready to be published when you do this is still not appear in play store app store ladies and gentlemen you still need to actually register your account with google play store you still need to register your account with apple our suggestion is always android first all right uh, android here meaning google play store later on when you are ready then you can go for apple Okay, so what do I do? I click ready publish my app. We are at a very final stage already, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so I click and I click save. So how to go about using the subscription, alright? Uh, please refer to our videos okay now click here and we come back to manage all is being automatically done ladies and gentlemen the only time that i need to assist you is when you open the account with us okay for workshop members we do that in class for online members is on your registration and then everything is inside your hand so we go back to publication 
and I'm always here to provide support to you via the Facebook and also via the Telegram. So, so when you've already put that link to the subscription and now you are ready to generate your APK, you will take about two to three minutes to actually uh, APK to be produced. Please do remember, ladies and gentlemen, you need to refresh the page. Okay, there are people who send me messages, Katina, APK not delivered. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, until 100 years, it will not be delivered if you don't refresh the page. So you see now this is generating. So wait for about two to three minutes and please reload and you will see, you will be able to see. So we are very early in the morning. So there's no other people generating APK but they might be if you are in queue uh, they might be few and that might take a bit more time uh, each apk will take just about less than two minutes okay all right so we are ready to go your app is ready ladies and gentlemen how is it okay i'm so sorry i'm talking a lot of things while sharing on how to build this app and just to help you to get more ideas and to share with you what are the things that we have in our app builder ladies and gentlemen come join us in amb okay join and use our system amb toolkit it's just not a toolkit okay it's just not a system we give you with videos manuals we give you support via facebook and telegram okay and uh you are able to build an actual app, not just a simple app, right? Maybe some of you says that a survey, uh, a directory app is a simple app. No, if you really are uh, informational app, you just use custom page. It's, we have property app like iRealty, we have e-healing app, we have e-commerce, but we have, we are on a 14 days app challenge, all right? Uh, we're gonna build all those other things, all right? But not 100 apps. We actually have 100 features. Okay, but we are going for a 14 days app channel, uh, app challenge, and we would like to welcome all of you. Come, join us. Let's create app together. All right, and what I can promise all of you is that the potential is great. Okay, you are able to build apps, non-coding. I have proved, proven to you today, and that app that is ready, then APK ready, would be able to help you to actually go next step publish to google play store and apple app store so with that again thank you so much for being with me okay please do follow please subscribe to our youtube channel so that you are able to see our other videos in this 14 day channel okay 14 days app challenge uh, this is my channel for our marketing for all our uh, members actual paid members i use a different type of uh, youtube channel that is a lot of those uh, videos are actually unlisted it's only meant for our members why i use youtube ladies and gentlemen because uh, we do have feedbacks from our international uh, participant we I had my first international participant from Spain she's a professor and he was very thankful I didn't realize that ladies and gentlemen he was thankful that I actually put into YouTube although it's unlisted because he's able to actually get a caption and change it to their local language so that's great so that's why we will continue uh, build our apps uh, sorry we will continue upload our videos into YouTube to make it easy for our international members that prefer to see the subtitle the caption in their languages and come ladies and gentlemen i do not know what to say anything else uh, this is awesome you are able to build app without coding i'm very excited to welcome all of you to join us and be guided together as a team so with that ladies and gentlemen again thank you so much for being with me in apps master builder toolkit apps master builder cms none coding none required codes to build your apps and hope to see you soon as a member with that thank you so much
ladies and gentlemen all the best let's zoom come build apps